Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching me. My name is Peter. Today we're going to be looking at how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro 17 on Windows 11 machine. If you do have any question, please put it down in the comments and I'll take a look into it. Now, when you navigate to your favorite browser, you want to search for download Windows uh, as a Windows VMware Workstation Pro. For me, is the second link. So for you, it might be different, depends on the browser you're using. So once we get there, we scroll down. We have two versions of this software. We have the Windows and Linux. For me, I'm going to be doing now uh, Windows right here. So once the download finished, you can actually double click on it to start the installation right away or you navigate to the path where the software has been downloaded just like i'm doing you right click on it you run it open or you open an ad as an administrator so either way works for me and one that is open is going to start running in the background just like you see here i have to minimize for me to be able to get to where the installation is happening so it's kind of next 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 uh read the end user license agreement here we have some times click on next and uh, uh kind of read a little bit of what is saying right here but i'm interested in actually installing uh, windows ipv i check it and i click next so i like a hands keyboard so i'm going to check it and click on next I don't want to join the customer's experience because this is a lab and this is not actually production but i like receiving updates next and shortcuts next install so most of the time these take a little bit of time but in this video i'm going to start uh fast forwarding the process so that you can see what is happening So once this is installed, to be honest, it's going to restart. Everything looks great for me that I decided to start installing uh, my Windows machine on it. And as you can see, I'm fast forwarding everything just to uh, make not the video boring for you. But it's something that you can actually try on your side. Uh, as you can see, it, it's working great. I mean, you can go to the file menu and you can check it out. Check the very great features that VMware have. The only cons that, which is a kind of issue that I've not been able to solve right here, is that I still don't know how to do dynamic memory like we have on Hyper-V. So meaning that if you assign uh, two gig of memory, I think that it's not dynamic like when it's not being used then that memory can actually be used by other uh, guest machine as you see it's working really fine if you have any question please put it down in the comment section below and i'll be very glad to assist you with that so once that installation finished i can navigate to my favorite browser i put in big.com i can search at christmas time and uh that's it everything is working as expected thank you so much for your time i love you all if you have any question put it down in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video thank you have a nice day bye bye